nice at me camera. Good. Stop recording. Stop recording. Hi YouTubers, welcome again to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be making some arepas and this is a Venezuela recipe that I, my mom used to make when I was about five years old. I remember eating a lot of this here for lunch and pretty much for everything throughout the course of the day. Um, you would snack on an arepa. Uh, for you guys who don't know what this is, it's basically um, in Guyana it's equivalent to a bake. Uh, but instead of using the regular bleach flour, we're using the masa or corn flour. This is what it looks like. Um, 
on the corn flour uh, you're adding in this container here I have three cups of corn flour uh, I'm gonna add about one and a half cup of warm water and then one and a half teaspoon of sugar uh, sorry salt and then I'll add a little bit of oil the way it works is we make this dough similar to what we would make roti uh, make the dough uh, make it flat and round we're not gonna bail it and then what we do is we put it on a, a frying pan we fry it or char it on um, both sides and after we're done with that we bake it for 10 minutes uh, corn flour when it bakes it becomes very um, compact and, and cooked inside and then you fill it with anything that you would like to fill so to fill it I'm using um, I have some pre-cooked chicken here uh, I'm gonna strip it and then I'm gonna do some uh, mashed potato and then mix the chicken with the mashed potato and the secret ingredient there is uh, using um, just using like mayonnaise to create the um, the nice flavor of the arepa and use that to fill the arepas so let me get started uh, so there we have the corn flour I'm gonna add the warm water in it and that's about one cup I'm gonna add the teaspoon of salt there and then uh, the secret here is to actually use oil so make sure you guys uh, you wash your hands uh, good hygiene because you're gonna be using your hands to mix this um, so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take the oil and sort of um, wet my hands with the oil and I'm using olive oil so once I wet my hands with the oil um, with the corn flour it doesn't stick to oil uh, so it makes it easy to um, make the dough once your hands have the oil in it um, that way you don't have um, the dough sticking on your hands I know a lot of people don't like that feeling where you always have to clean your hands because it has the dough on it so just like that my hands have the oil I'm gonna mix this in into a dough and then um, one thing you'll notice is as I mix I'm squeezing the um, the mixture so I want the salt and the um, water to really get in there so I'm basically doing like a, a squeezing of the dough and as I squeeze it I'm gonna add more water to really um, form the dough all right so how you guys been it's been a while since I put a new video um, how is the coronavirus doing on your end I'd like to know if you guys want to leave a comment there below let me know how you guys are handling with this new normal that we have um, it's very difficult I know in the tourism industry a lot of us we can't travel and this is vacation season right now in August and um, you know it's pretty bad that we can't even go out there and do any travels but you know we just gotta be patient uh, we gotta stay positive because um, eventually this will pass and then um, we'll go back to normal I know it's kind of hard because you know people are putting their whole life on pause in the moment you know celebrating anniversaries and board days and the passing of loved ones you can't be there it's uh, it's a little difficult but um, you know we've gone through worse this is just a test of time you know we'll get through this all right so you can see there the dough is getting a little bit more um a little bit more um clumped together and that's good that's what we want as we add water so i added another cup of water there and i'm just gonna squeeze this a little bit more to form the dough So you guys can see I, by adding the oil on my hands the dough is not really sticking to my hands which is a good thing that's what we want all right so I'm gonna all right guys so there we go we have the dough um, I made it in two sort of uh, doughs and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just break small pieces off of it 
roll it flat like a beak and then I'm gonna lay it on the board right here uh, so that way we can um, be able to fill it and fry it so I'm gonna set that up and you guys can see what it looks like Alright guys, um, so basically just keep rolling, um, after it's finished charring, you can add a little bit more butter um, so that both sides are getting the right amount of char and then once you're done, you can just put it inside your um, baking pan so that we um, reduce how much heat is escaping from it. It's a tasty, tasty um, dessert, and I love it. Uh, once you try one time, I'm sure you guys will love it. Pretty good. You don't want to press on it. If you press on it too much, it's gonna break it. Um, it's very fragile. These are rapers, so you know, just kind of stick to um, working. There you go. I'm gonna put some more on.
So my friends, uh, the Arepas are already charred, they're brown on both sides, not too brown um, because then it will get hard and um, difficult to eat. So basically the next step is, and this is a secret addition to this recipe, um, uh, I know when I was eating it back in the days of the early 2000s, they weren't um, this option, but I've seen online a lot of people are, substitute, are making these um, arepas and they're adding the um, Parmesan cheese on top. So I'm going to try that this time. I'm going to put the Parmesan cheese, just a little sprinkle on the top of the arepa. When I put it in for bake, um, I guess it will give it a nice like um, cheesy taste to it. Uh, which is nice um, but we'll see how that goes I'll just add a little bit um, it's gonna bake on only one side for 10 minutes and um, then we're done we'll be able to stuff it and I'll just I'm just trying to make sure I get it directly on the arepa there we go. So I added the Parmesan cheese to the um, top of the arepa. Now I'm gonna put it in the oven. Um, I'm gonna keep the oven at two, at 350, uh, at 10 minutes on the um, heat 350. And after that, we should be good. So uh, while this is baking, the next preparation that we're gonna do is preparing the um the, the stuffing and that's gonna be our mashed potato with some um strip chicken along with some um of our um, mayonnaise and mustard okay all right so our oven now is at 350 so we're gonna put this in our oven here and let it bake um for 10 minutes put it on the lowest shelf so it gets enough heat and after 10 minutes, I will uh, take this out and see what that looks like. We'll cut it in the middle and stuff it. So one thing I use while I'm in the kitchen so I don't uh, miss our timing, I usually just use the timer on Google. Hey Google, set the timer for 10 minutes. And then I'll be able to see um, when it's ready, um, when to take it out. All right, so I'm gonna go start preparing the stuffing. Alright, so it's time for our uh, stuffing and for the stuffing uh, what we're gonna do we I already have the potato inside here and then I uh, strip some chicken so it's potato strip chicken we're gonna use mayonnaise and this is gonna give it a nice um, arepa taste and then we're gonna use mustard um, some squares of mustard um, we're gonna finish it off with parsley parsley is gonna be the final uh, mix sure the top and then we're gonna put some salt it's about a uh, quarter of a teaspoon salt all right so I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up with a fork like so and just mash the potato get the potato all soft um, but what I'm gonna do while I'm mixing it I'm gonna pour the mayonnaise inside so while I'm mixing the mayonnaise is getting mixed with the potato I'm gonna do about three um, spoon of mayonnaise and then I'm gonna put the mustard so add the mustard in at the same time so just a couple squirts of mustard and I'm gonna go ahead and mix this with the fork and that's gonna create our stuffing okay So there's our um, stuffing for the arepas. I put some parsley on the top, give it a nice color and flavor. Our arepas is all done, um, baked for 10 minutes. And then I already sliced them in half like so. And that's what we're gonna stuff uh, with the stuffing that we made. So it's quite easy, a uh, little time consuming um, overall. The cooking time is not very long. The preparation time is probably the longest. Um, but anyone can make this. It's quite um, simple. So you just take a um, small um, spoonful of the stuffing. And basically you just pretty much put it in there. Um, and just kind of flat it out 
like you would do in a bun and that's it that's the whole process um, the stuffing is quite rich it has the uh, chicken strip chicken inside and the potatoes uh, the mayonnaise um, so it's super delicious not as healthy as you would think but um, you can put as much as you want some people put st um, sausage in the stuffing uh, you can get creative you can put all different stuff and once you stuff it you fold it over there you go our rapers so I'm gonna do this all out and finish this up and if you have extra stuff in left back you can actually um, save that for later and make some more you see the rapers actually don't take that long um, so if you have the extra stuff in that you have left back you can just um, recycle that with some more rapers and make this throughout the course of the week so I hope you guys uh, like this uh, dish it's very different from what I've made before um, thought I would bring this over to you guys because I've always been making this here it's delicious um, we both love it and um, it's different but it's super delicious and hope you guys can try it out and let me know for all my Guyanese subscribers um, this might be something that's new um, but a lot of the Venezuelan um, restaurants they actually have this on their uh, menu arepas and I always try it um, because I love arepas once you have it once um, you always um, want to have it because it's so uh, delicious and addicting there you go and with making it with corn flour makes it very uh, full in so if you eat it like a couple times you will get um, full very quickly all right, so I hope you guys um, try this out. Stay safe out there and uh, subscribe, share this channel um, and like, push the like button or leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. If you tried it, send me an email and let me know how it turned out. I'll advertise that on my next video. Um, and overall, I hope this is a great experience for you guys making this dish and we'll see you on the next video.